Hello my friends, my name is Lazy Joe, welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and today we're doing another race today and we have got some brilliant American logos today. And the thing about American trains is they're big, they're superior and above all, super strong. And the Americans depend on the uh, railroads because about 70 to 80 percent on the railroads is freight trains and the American freight trains are like ridiculously long and that's why a lot of people love American trains because well they're brilliant they really are so in today's race we have got an Amtrak P42 we have a BNSF uh, ES44AC I am actually reading this off Wikipedia because I have, I have no idea what kind of locomotives these things are I know that sounds stupid but like you know it's the truth and we have this which is a MP63PH again no idea what that is and we have this which is a Union Pacific SD60M like, again I have no idea what it is and this is the first time I'm actually racing with these kind of American trains because like yes even though that this one and this one are passenger trains we need to respect the freight trains as well so that's why we're gonna have a, a race to see how fast the freight trains in America are we need to we need to race them and, and see how they compete but we have to remember that these American trains are built for strength not speed, so I'm not expecting much out of this, but we're gonna have a little go, aren't we? Hmm. And that's why this video is gonna be interesting. So if you're new to the Laser YouTube channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel, and also check out the Laser Jet website if you wanna buy some Laser Jet merch. We've got t shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got sports bags, and we've got mugs. You name it, I have it. Except for hats. I don't I don't have hats. I really should think about making some lazy hats. So, my American beauties, let's go to the world editor and start doing some amazing programming, shall we? So, let's move the Super Class 47 to a more appropriate platform. So, I think we should start there. I think we should have the Amtrak P42 uh, there. Now, again, I have no idea the name of these particular American locomotives. So um, I'm just going to say their company name because I know I I, at the beginning of the video, I just said what they are, but I don't actually know what they are, if that makes sense, because I have to read it on a list. I actually have written a list of what these trains are. But I'm just going to say the BNSF because, you know, that's the company logo. And we'll just say, we'll just call this, I don't know, the white train because, like, you know, it's it's white. And this one's pretty easy. We've got the Union Pacific. Can't go wrong with the Union Pacific. So, I think we should have the Union Pacific uh, about there. And we should have the BNSF on here. And we should have the white train, which I have no idea what it is. Then we should have it about here, I think. Well, obviously, obviously we're going to line them up. so Because so, so, we're going to make it fair, aren't we? I don't know if you can hear it on the game volume, but it is quite loud. So let's line them all up. I'm not sure if that's perfectly lined up. Oh, no, that's definitely not, not, not lined up. Let's see. I think about mm, there we'll do. We'll have the uh, Super Class 47 about there. This is actually going to be a very interesting race because I have no idea what the results are. So, we'll start with the uh, Amtrak, uh, which is Loco 5, and you're on platform uh, 1, I believe. Yep. And what do you guys think? I think we should have 160% power today. I think that's a good idea. I think the next one is the Union Pacific, and you are on platform, I believe you're on platform 3. I could be wrong. No, it's platform three, and we'll have you at 160% power. Did 1,600 just for a second, but no, we want 160. And the BNSF, which is Loco 2, and you are on platform, I think that's platform six, I think. It's platform five. Platform six, there we go. 160% power. And finally, which is the white train, which doesn't have a number. And let's sort that out. There we go. Then, Loco... Oh, the phone's going off. Loco 3. So, Loco Loco 3, 
will be on platform seven, I think. I believe that's the last one. Yep, and we'll have you at 160% power as well. So the programming is all done. Now, again, I have no idea what the results are. This race happens, like, this is my actual reaction. I don't know which one's going to win. Uh, but which one do you guys think? Will it be this weird-looking white train that kind of... Well, it's actually quite streamlined, actually. But which one do you think is going to win? The BNSF. Oh, I actually quite like this this uh, this locomotive. Or the Union Pacific or the Amtrak. So we've got Amtrak, Union Pacific, uh, BNSF, and this white company. Just call it the white train. That's all I can think of. But I am ready to race. Are you guys ready for racing? Because I certainly am. Let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? Yes, please. I always like saving it. And away they go. We are racing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And so far, the Amtrak is in the lead, followed by the BNSF, followed by the Union Pacific, followed by the White Train. And the Amtrak is way ahead. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here today, Mr. Superclass 47? Well, the White Train is slowly um, falling behind, which is not good. Uh, going past the Union Pacific, uh, that's going at some decent speed. And I just applied the brakes. I did not mean to do that. I need to catch up to the leaders. Um, I don't know where the uh, Amtrak has gone. I need to catch up. Oh my god, the Amtrak train has already passed the level crossing. If I try and slow down, the BNSF is going at some decent speed. I'm trying to look in the distance, and then you can just just about see the Amtrak train. How fast is that Amtrak train going? How can a P-42 go at that speed so quickly? We're already halfway through the racetrack. So if we're trying to link speed, how fast is that thing going? I mean, again, it is a passenger train. It is designed for, you know, speed and stuff, but... It's going about 160... No, that, that thing pulled away so fast. So if the Amtrak is there, then where are the other trains? Let me um see if I can go back and try and have a look, because... Oh, here we go. Oh, the white train has catched up quite a bit now. It's not last anymore. The BNSF is going at eh, decent speed, but not that fast. But the Union Pacific is in last place. And we're going over the massive railway bridge. We actually the, we finished the big loop. The Amtrak train has finished the big loop. I've never known an Amtrak going that fast. Apart from the Seller Express, obviously. And their HHPA, which is a totally different locomotive so on the big loop i've had a situation because i'm not actually moving and because we are so like far away from the other trains i can't actually view them and see what's going on this is the first time i'm actually doing a race and i have no idea what's going on i mean i can't believe how fast the p42 was i mean how can something like that take off so quickly and leave me for dust. Dust. I like that word. A little bit of dust. Left me for dust. Might want to keep an eye on this train because this thing did take off quite fast. It almost took off like a bullet. But I think the P42 Amtrak is starting to slow down quite a bit. Um, I don't know where the other trains are, but I can see the finish line. But if I like stop the uh, Superclass 47, I can't actually see where the others are. Well, I can see the, where the white train is, but... I can't see the other two freighters. Although there's the the BNSF, I think that's what it is. BNSF, I think, but the Uni. Oh, there's the Uni Pacific. It is so far away. So the Amtrak P42 has just finished coming down the spiral and entering the final straight towards the station. And just ahead is the white train. That thing did quite all right, actually. I mean, second place. That's quite average. I mean, I did have doubts about this one, but maybe I shouldn't. That's the thing about this channel. You expect the unexpected. So the P42 is coming in nicely at tremendous speed. That thing does need to slow down, or is it might crash. And there is the BNSF. God, the, the, the size of the American trains compared to the British trains are just incredible. I mean, the size of them are just insane. And here we go. You can actually see trains all over the place, all over the racetrack. You can see the BNSF at the, the very top. The Amtrak's coming in, the white train's coming in, and the Union Pacific is just passing the Superclass 47. We have just got, we have got trains everywhere so the amtrak p42 has finished first and in second place is the weird but wonderful white train i think that i think did quite well i was not expecting that thing to do so well but again these two diesels are passenger trains so i guess speed is on their side but for the freight trains obviously they're a bit slower because you know they're designed for hauling heavy goods not speed 
But if we wanted to choose the fastest freight train, it's close between BNSF and Union Pacific because I could just see both of them pulling into the station right now. I tell you what, this is actually a fantastic racetrack. I'm not going to lie. The finish line is spot on. I, I, I would not have changed it any different. Although, I still need to add some more scenery to it. But we'll do that, like, you know, in, in, in future live streams and stuff. Because, like, you know, when I do work on route building, I like live streaming it. Because, like, you know, it's what I do and like you guys like to see me do some route building so in third place is the BNSF probably the fastest freighter we have maybe park it next to the white train very nice and in last place is the Union Pacific whatever it's called the SD60M I think that's what it is but there we go. Lovely. But then again, like, you know, this particular locomotive and this one are totally different, you know, locos. So it doesn't matter, like, you know, what company it is. It depends on the, it depends on the locomotive. But I have to say, which one is my favorite out of these four? I probably might have to go with the BNSF. This is probably my, one of my favorites out of the four. I know it's not the fastest, but for an American train, I quite like it. I mean, I know the Amtrak P42, you know, it, it kicked everyone's bottoms, but, you know, I'm I'm really surprised. I need to do more races with, the, with this uh, with this diesel because this thing took off so fast, and I want to do some more experimenting with this uh, with this train. I want to, I'll, I'll, maybe I should um, have it against the Acela Express and see what that's like, or um, or something else, maybe a bullet train. Could a diesel beat a bullet train? I don't know. Or a Eurostar. Again, I haven't got a clue. But which locomotive out of these four do you guys think is the best? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to read it. And that concludes this amazing video for today. But thank you again so much for watching this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so stay notified to the channel. And also, buy some LazyJet merch on the LazyJet website. Link to that is in the description below. We have t-shirts, hoodies, sports bags, cups, you name it. Except for hats, of course. I, as I said in the beginning of the video, apart from hats... We have it. Go onto the website, see what you can find. It's a great website. You guys won't regret the merch. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye, everyone. things sort of